Well, you guys, this USB toolkit has everything you need, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. If you're looking for an awesome USB toolkit, then check out MediCat. It's probably one of the best USB flash drives out there on the market, and I'm going to show you how to create your own. So I've got a 128 gigabyte SanDisk USB drive plugged into my computer, and what I'm going to do here is get this all prepped and ready for MediCat. So you can see I've downloaded the files. I'll show you these a little bit later on where to get them. Now it's quite a few gigabytes in size to download MediCat, but once you get it downloaded and built, uh, you should be pretty much good to go. So I've also got them archived in a little zip file here, which I'll store on my NAS. But basically, once you've got this done, we can uh, delete these couple of little files down here because these are the files that it creates once you've built your USB flash drive. And I've already built one, but I'm going to build another one just to show you how to do it. So what we need to do here is right click on this batch file here and run this as administrator. Now you may get alarmed about your antivirus program before you continue. And this is because of the nature of the program. So you may need to turn that off because it's going to start to flag because of the nature of the script, the way it works. It's going to request files and it's going to download them and things like that. And it's going to cause you a few issues if you have that running. So now we've got this uh, turned off. What I'm going to do here, you should see the welcome screen here just going to push enter and get to the terms conditions you don't have any terms conditions you run this at your own risk click on install medicat and this will start to download all the files that it needs to build medicat onto your usb flash drive now if you don't feel safe about turning off your antivirus you can always do this on a virtual machine and basically turn off the antivirus on the virtual machine it should be perfectly fine so now we've got to this stage here whereas it's going to say it needs to download and install Ventoy. And uh, we're going to say yes here to check the files to make sure they're working correctly. And uh, we'll say yes, and it will go off and check these files. It does take a bit of time, so be patient. But once it's finished, you should see something looking like this, where we don't have any bad files. And all the files have been checked, and we're now ready to go ahead and install uh, Ventoy onto our USB flash drive. You should see it plugged into your computer. Click OK, and then make sure you're selecting the correct USB flash drive and then click install. Now it's going to ask you the data will be lost. So I'm going to type yes in capital letters here and click OK. It's going to format the drive. Say yes again. And yes again, it's going to double check. And now it's going to go off and start to format our drive and get Ventura installed onto that USB flash drive. So we don't need to update it because it's already got the very latest updates. So we can now close that off and leave the black prompt box open because we're going to continue with this process going to warn you and say we will reformat the entire disk d that's okay because that is the disk drive that i'm using so i'm going to push enter and it will go off and start to unpack the zip files and put them onto our usb flash drive for us so how long is this going to take well that's going to depend on what type of usb flash drive you're using try and use the fastest flash drive you can get your hands on and also try to plug it into one of the fastest ports on your computer and that way we can get the best data transfer rates uh, to that USB flash drive. So let this go ahead and unpack all of the files and get them transferred over to our USB flash drive. It will take some time. So go and make yourself a cup of coffee and then come back and you should have something looking like this 60%. It's going to start going up a bit uh, faster because it's going to put all of the portable applications on there as well. Now, I did say about where to get this from. You can get it from Medicat. Dot com. You can either download it on Google Drive, Google Drive Mirror. Uh, you can also use the Mega and you can also use the installer or you can use a magnet link or torrent link if you wish. I use the Google Drive and it was pretty fast and I downloaded all the files. You can also check out the documentation, which tells you what is on the actual drive. Once it's completed, there's some portable apps on here. I'll go right through this near the end and you can be able to see what it looks like. So what we're going to do here is take a quick look at the USB flash drive itself. You can see there's all the files on here and folders. Uh, uh, this is the actual build that it's created. And we can now boot to this device and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Now, if you're a PC repair tech or you like troubleshooting computers or your PC doesn't boot, then this sort of tool can really be useful. This USB flash drive is packed with useful software that can help you fix a lot of computer problems. It's going to go off and do some checks and let me know if there's any missing files. Now, before I show you the end result, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, use the links in the video description. And you can then create an account on CD Key Sales. Go over there and check out the Windows 10 Pro OEM keys. 
click the buy now button and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. Once you've applied this to your order, you can submit it and pay for it and you should get a 30% discount once you purchase your order. The key will be sent to your account and you can use this key to activate your version of Windows. Check the links in the video description. Okay, so I've now booted to my USB flash drive. I've gone into the BIOS and changed the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive. And we're going to now check out our USB toolkit from Medicat. So this is the actual menu system. Looks pretty cool. And you can go for here. You've got all your antivirus stuff, uh, backup and recovery, boot repair, diagnostic tools. You've got your live operating systems on here as well. Partition tools, password recovery, and also Windows recovery. Uh, on here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these in more detail. You've got your antivirus section here. Would have liked to have seen Kaspersky Rescue Disk in there. Also, we've got backup and recovery. There's a plenty of backup and recovery stuff here. I'll boot to one of these just to show you how it works. Let's go ahead and choose Rescue Zilla and we'll click on this one and it will boot to Rescue Zilla. And you can see there is the actual ISO here. Now I'm going to add this in. And we'll choose, say, for instance, boot to uh, Grub. And there we go. And it'll start to boot up. And we now choose our language. And this will then start booting up to a live environment where we can then back up our drive and also clone the drive, whatever it is we're trying to do. Now, maybe the PC is not booting up properly because a Windows is corrupt or something. You can boot to something like this and back up the drive. And then, obviously, uh, once you've got the data off, you can do whatever you like. But once you should see, uh, something like this, Backup, Restore, Clone, Explorer. And we also have Image Explorer, which is in beta as well. So pretty decent little tool uh, to use. There's plenty of other options available as well. And you also have a desktop here where you can access the internet from a browser. And you've also got access to Gparted and a bunch of other little tools inside this rescue disk. So that is just this part of the Swiss Army Knife Rescue CD that we booted to. There is other options available on here. You got the Windows recovery uh, section as well, which gives you Windows 8 recovery, Windows 10 recovery, and also Windows 11 recovery, which is very useful indeed. Going back, we'll take a look at also a live environment for Windows. You've got live operating systems here you can boot to. We also have loads of diagnostic tools and other things on here which we can use. Let me go into the live option here, and we're going to go to the mini uh, Windows 10 here and boot to this here. And this comes also packed with loads of different types of tools you can use uh, to troubleshoot uh, your PC or maybe do whatever it is you're trying to do on there. Recover data, all sorts of stuff. So let's let this load in. Shouldn't take too long because it's a, a mini version of Windows 10. So we'll let this boot up. And once we get to the desktop of this uh, PE environment, you can see here we should see all of the portable applications loading up here. And there is an absolute bucket load of portable applications. So you can reset passwords with this. You can also run scans with uh, scanning software for viruses and other things like that as well. And let me just load up this uh, portable applications. You can see there is tons of stuff on here. Really decent uh, toolkit. It really is. Uh, they've done quite a lot of work on this over the years, and I've seen it grow and just get better and better. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give the video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comment section below what sort of videos you want to see because views are down, and I'm not sure whether I'm making the right type of content for you. Anyway, I shall catch you in the very next video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.